I'm cutting uh, threads on a Monarch 10EE. These are left hand tapered threads. I've got some uh, close ups coming up. This is just an overhead shot to kind of get you oriented. The next shot is uh, from the tailstock looking toward the headstock. You can see that the, the tool bit is mounted upside down. You can kind of see that there's a close up closer coming next. It'll show that better. This is it. You can see that tool bit's upside down. I love how the smoke is rolling off of that as it's cutting. This is um, not great steel that I'm cutting. Uh, it was just an old bolt um, that I used, so it's, you know, it's tearing a little bit. This is from the back of the lathe. Just trying to give you a better shot. Again, from the tailstock looking forward. This is using the uh, taper attachment on the Monarch, uh, which does just a really great job and uh, allowed me to cut this taper on here. This was, uh, I'm, I'm making a, I'll show you at the end, but uh, making a jeweler's buffer. And these are tapered, uh, threaded tapers that hold the buffs in place. And uh, you have to make one right hand and one left hand because as you put one on each end of the arbor of the motor, and as it spins, they both have to kind of tighten up. Uh, you know, the buff has to kind of screw up on there and tighten up. So that's why I had to cut this left hand taper. And I'm not I'm not much of a machinist, so uh, to be able to do this was what well, I thought was pretty cool. My son was over that day and he helped me. Now, this is really three spring cuts that you're seeing. Uh, that end is sticking out so far in unsupported that uh, it took three to get the get the threads uh, pretty much cut into that far end. And they still didn't come out just real crisp. It, but for this application, it really doesn't matter. You know, these threads don't have to be perfectly formed because they're not meshing with a nut. They're just... Uh, meshing with a, a cloth buff. And like I said, it was a little rough. Like I said, it's not great steel. Probably a hot, uh, hot rolled. Just hit it with a file a couple of times. I cleaned it up really well. This is the jeweler's buff. So it just mounts on the end of the motor. That's the, the uh, buff held on there. Thank you for watching.